Most OneVet clinics will start their transport program with a cargo van. Humane Alliance uses an extended body cargo van that can hold up to 30 animals, depending on the dog-cat mix. There is no carpet in the vehicle, as carpet is a disease vector. Instead, the vehicle has washable vinyl seats, rubber mats, and plastic sidewalls. The vehicle must have a rear AC and heat vent. A front-only system is not enough to safely transport the animals. The sidewalls are not only washable, but have nooks to attach the bungee cords. You will need to have a stock of extra supplies in the vehicle. We suggest you have newspaper, lightweight sheets, a few clipboards with admission forms, pens, cleaning supplies, hand sanitizer, duct tape, and zip ties. You will also need a variety of lengths of bungee cords. You will want cords with metal rather than plastic tips. Loading the vehicle is a bit like a puzzle, and with a few transports, you'll get the hang of assessing which carrier should get loaded first. As you are looking at the animals to load, check each of the carrier doors for overall security. Add zip ties where needed. You should also check to make sure the animals are in size appropriate carriers, not too small that the animal is uncomfortable and not too big that the carrier would take up more room than necessary. The largest crates are loaded first and always load in an alternating pattern so that each crate is facing the side or the back of its neighbor's crate. You don't want two crates to be face to face with each other. If one dog is particularly stressed or loudly barking, cover that crate with a lightweight sheet. Heavy blankets will be too hot. You will load two rows of carriers on the first level and then start your second row. As soon as you are pleased with this positioning, then you will want to go ahead and bungee these crates together. To start the bungee system, hook your first bungee either to the front door or side vent of the large crate on the first layer. Be sure the metal end of the bungee is on the outside of the carrier so the animal cannot cut themselves. When needed, connect another bungee to the first bungee. Continue to thread the handles of the crates and finish by securing that bungee cord to another bottom crate. Gently shape the second layer of crates to make sure that they are secure. You will want to keep the overall number of layers, or the number of stacks, to a minimum. If you stack the carriers more than three high, it is much harder to keep them stable. If you do have to use three layers or three stacks, then it's best to add this layer closest to the passenger compartment. Therefore, you can use the seat backs as additional support. You may also have to use extra bungees if you are doing three stacks of carriers. If your policy allows feral traps on your transport, then they should be loaded last. Newspaper must go underneath the trap and then also cover the trap with a lightweight drape. We do not recommend open wire crates as they are harder to secure and not stable to stack anything on top of. If you have animals from multiple partners, be sure to load them in a way that you can access all of the animals from each group. You don't want to have to unload the whole vehicle just to get to one carrier. If you have any concerns about an animal with potential upper respiratory infection or kennel cough, it is best to refuse transport. However, it is also an option to have that animal ride on the passenger seat.